Got a day as fast here, and I'll show you this graph here. How jumpy it is. Read in the 40s. But I don't look at my detector too much, right? The only reason why I have my detector on my shaft right now is because I can dial it in a lot faster. If I have this thing in my pocket and I have to adjust my machine, I'm spending a lot more time adjusting my machine because it's in my pocket and not right here at my fingertips. And I wanna cycle through, right? Go to pitch. not going to be very deep. Didn't look very solid. Didn't sound very solid either on the gra on the XY. Could be some jewelry though too, you never know. A bit of can slaw. Yep, part of a can. There's a lot of EMI here in this yard. A lot of interference. <laughs> this one's pretty near the surface here. Come and pitch um, program. It's not gonna be very deep. But I don't want to dig deep here because this is the first time I've been in this permission. I just want to get some shallower targets out first. And I'll change my modes. See what else I can get out of here. Deeper. I found a deep relic. I destroyed it. Utterly destroyed it, man. It's a zinky. No. It's a fishing weight. Right there. Or it's a um, fishing lure. And it's a flasher. Ooh, yeah. Look at that, man. Awesome. That's an old one, too. It's number three. I like finding fishing lures. It's very interesting. The older ones are actually kind of valuable. It's called Blue Fox. The Super... Super Vibrax, number three, the blue fox, and it has a little picture of a fox there. That is an awesome find. It's nothing old. I mean, it's not really a vintage one. At least I don't think so. You just never know what you're going to find, man. Test under the tree here. Something right on the surface here. This could be some jewelry right here. Kind of give me some good squeaks there. This ground wasn't so hot. My pinpointer would be working right now. And this ground here in South Salem is just really hot. It's a little bit of junk right there. Some cans law. at it seems like it's pinpointing right at that root right there is it under the root oh this is gonna make a mess it's under the root man i think it's a coin that sounds like a coin or maybe a relic so i'll go easy with it I'm right to it. 
right underneath that root. Directly underneath that root. I see something red there. Is it a nail? There's just no way, man. Oh, it's a foil, man. Dude, that thing sounds like killer, too, man. It's a little water foil, man. Just gotta be something else in foil but the, the roots do throw you off a lot man I do have to say it's some junk it's some more foil reading up really high it's just it's tin foil just all corroded just falling apart just just disintegrated in my hand that sounded killer that sounded really good man reading up really super high like that it just give me some high numbers too Quarter nine, hot. Something big. I'm not gonna dig that one out yet. What the heck is that? Oh, some more plastic there. And this one sounds really good, man. It could be some more jewelry or some fishing tackle. Oh, this ground is just so crumbly. Oh man, this can make a humongous mess. Oh dude, I just can't. I can't prevent from making a mess here, right? Just part of the beast, you know. And I will leave my coil flat there to shut it up just a little bit. There's a lot of EMI here. Oh, right there, right to it. Come on, baby. There'll be some goodies in there, right? Come on, come on there. That's another relic. No, oh, come on, baby. I'm gonna go easy, super easy with it, man. Some junk. Test it out a little bit right there. Okay. Well, thank you for watching. Please subscribe. <laughs>